those vegan guys. Oh, thank you. Hi, I'm Paul. And I'm Jason. And together we are those, those vegan, vegan guys. guys. We asked you, you voted, and we've come to really Sainsbury's for doing another shopping vlog. For you! Come on, let's go in. in probably the most important part of any supermarket which is the fruit and veg section of course uh, for when you're um, on a, a vegan diet or indeed living the vegan lifestyle two different things well plant-based diet or living the vegan lifestyle Sainsbury's are now doing these reusable fruit and veg bags the 30p and here they are just little kind of you know fabric bags for you to put your loose that weigh nothing that for you to put your loose um, fruit and veg in and uh, reuse can't be bad eh said that vegan processed food is not healthy and such but I mean look at this the meatless farm company sausages and mince uh, and look at the nutritional bars at the bottom here greens and ambers you can't complain the mince is £2.50 and the sausages are £2.50 if you can't get hold of this isn't bacon this Yes. It's absolutely awesome. It crisps up gorgeous in a frying pan. It's not particularly healthy. There's a bit of red there, but since when have bacon butties ever been healthy? Ha have they been cruelty free before? No. Are they now? Yes. yes. And um, hot and spicy goujons. All these things are on offer for the January. So the bacon is two pound, and these are two forty-five. And they've also got what? What else did we just spot, Jason? Oh, yeah. We avoid these because Jason's a mushroom avoider. Uh, but there's chorizo-style shroom dogs, and I know a lot of you out there really like the original um, style shroom dogs and the caramelised onion ones, which are two pound fifty. They are lovely and they're very, very meaty. Give them a batch. Cauldron Middle Eastern falafels are on offer at the moment for £1.25 so because we're doing our seven days of vegan dinners video next week that's going to form part of one of them and I've never seen this before holy moly guacamole marked vegan when have we ever had vegan guacamole before now 2020 for January sort your life out be vegan I know you probably saw then, but these are both on offer for a pound at the moment throughout January. And if you don't know, even though the Plant Pioneer's bacon is fantastic, you can actually use the Quorn Smoky Hammer's bacon. Take it out of the pack, fry it, whack it on a butter. Bob's your auntie, Deborah's your uncle, life's good. Cauldron organic tofu. It's usually, I mean, it's only two pound normally, but it's one fifty at the moment for the January, and it's got quite a good shelf life. Fridged, obviously. Uh, one of these is late February. One of these is early March. We're having both. Check out our tofu scramble recipe. If you're looking for something buttery, and I mean like proper buttery for your toast and your sandwiches. Both of these, same product, it's just one spreadable and one's block. They are brilliant for baking. Absolutely beautiful because I'm prone to weight gain. <laughs> I, I tend not to have them um, too often, but we went through three blocks of this over Christmas. We're Christmas sandwiches. Boys. £1.95 each, these, uh, and uh, no palm oil at all. Don't forget though, the entire Flora range is now vegan. Flora Light, Flora Original, Flora Buttery, and the Light, the Original, and the Buttery are all on offer for £1 at the moment in Sainsbury's. 
Now we've only ever found these in Sainsbury's before, but these Jamaican patties, vegetable, are clearly marked vegan and they're 80 pence each. I've eaten these cold before, they're that nice, but they're much better warmed up. But if you fancy a quick lunch, jump out from work, 80p, brilliant. We're going to get a couple of hummus uh, as well and yes people we know that it's easy and simple to make your own hummus that's not what this video is about so don't be going off in the comments down there <laughs> can't be bothered with it this is to help people in veganuary so don't tell them how to make their own hummus they'll get there tell them how to buy cheap hummus that's vegan and hasn't harmed any animals yes. so we're going to go for the roasted red pepper and uh, the classic I think Jason both my vegan they're both a pound at the moment and they're going to go with our falafels for one of the meals next week oh you're excited aren't you I am oh. <laughs> This is one of the controversial points about being vegan. See, there's this mouthwash in Sainsbury's um, and it says on the back, cruelty free, boif. Cruelty free doesn't necessarily mean no animal ingredients. Just like vegan doesn't necessarily mean cruelty free. Vegan means no animal ingredients. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna be really honest with you. When it comes to personal care products, toothpaste, mouthwash, shampoo and conditioner, moisturizers, makeup, so many personal care products, we go to Superdrug. Yes. Um, so if cruelty free is enough for you, then they do have toothpaste and mouthwash here in uh, Sainsbury's. But the co-op also have products, oral hygiene products that are marked vegan and cruelty free. On with the shop. Onwards. Bottom loaf, 55p, marked vegan. Top two loaves, £1.10, both marked vegan. They're both says for his own brand, aren't they, Jason? Yeah. Taste the difference. We get this top one here. Um, and it's worth saying, it is amazing bread. Oh, it's lovely. Full of seeds and everything. Why you wouldn't... can manage to not scrimp on your bread. Don't scrimp on your bread. He's right, you know. Bread. So, method washing up liquid says cruelty free on the bottle, but doesn't say vegan. Um, like I said before, really you need to go to the co-op to get products that are clearly marked vegan but cruelty free, we're going to go with that. We've been using this for quite a while, uh, the method, and it's fully recycled plastic as well, the bottles, which is brilliant. Um, if you have, I'll put the link down there to the Vegan Womble website. I had a look last night on the Vegan Womble website for Sainsbury's and so many of the products are, are listed on there as vegan and vegetarian, suitable for vegetarians and vegans, from cleaning products to shower gels to toothpaste to mouthwash, but the last time the list was updated was 2015 and it says on the vegan womble if you want this list updated let us know so if you want an updated list from the vegan womble who do incredible work give them a shout we're just showing you what we can today onward <laughs> Now again, I'm not saying that these products are vegan. They are on the Vegan Womble list as vegetarian and vegan, and they're both marked clearly cruelty-free. 40 pence shower gel and 80 pence shower gel. Both in Sainsbury's, but we always go for, we might as well just switch the camera around, Jason. All these original sorts are only a pound. They are clearly marked vegan and cruelty-free. And they're made with, you know, natural ingredients. So we go for them every time. 40p, I'd rather spend a pound. <laughs> Sainsbury's, some labelling considerations. Yeah, it'd be really helpful, like with all supermarkets. If, if something's cruelty-free and you can put that on the label, 
can you also put whether it's vegan or not because it would help your customers so much uh, but while we're here I'm gonna get a couple of these Jay. yeah lemon and lime lemon and lime oh. <laughs> A lot of Sainsbury's own brand tinned products, beans, spaghetti, peas, mushy peas, are clearly marked vegan. We're not going to cover them in this video because we've done them in another video, which I'm going to link up there. In the tin aisle, we found young jackfruit in water, 160, and banana blossom in water, 150. The jackfruit is what a lot of people are using to get kind of pulled pork. Uh, effect so you you know you mix it with a good barbecue sauce and whack it in a wrap and this apparently dipped in batter and fried is a vegan alternative to fish and really good as well now so there's them there's also these which are jackfruit ready done two pound in a in a an airtight pack you just warm it up whack it on a bread shove it in your face lunch done now we're not saying vegans are taking over the world not yet not now we're biding our time <laughs> but look at the milk behind me look how much plant milk there is compared to dairy milk go on look look Plant milk! <laughs> Not that. It's horrible. £5.50. Always in Sainsbury's. Clearly marked vegan. But the best two are actually Penguin Sands. £3.85. Always been marked vegan. Really, really good red wine to have with a meal. Get in them. Oh, sorry, I thought you were beckoning someone behind me. Um, good white wine, a nice uh, Sauvignon Blanc for those of you that like the white wine, and a nice Pinot Grigio Rosé, uh, both around four or five pounds and clearly marked vegan. So come to Sainsbury to check your wines because surely you can get that in shop. Well done, Panasonic. Way. Yes, clearly. Brilliant. Put these back now, we're not having them. If you're more of a beer drinker and you'd like a light ale of an evening, 10 bottles for £4, clearly marked vegan, always in Sainsbury's. 4% volume. 4% volume's not bad, that, Carol. <coughs> tell your husband, tell your wife, tell your kids, shop at Sainsbury's. Just as a point of reference, a lot of Sainsbury's own brand crisps, except the cheese and onion, are marked suitable for vegans. Uh, for the cheese and onion crisps, um, I'll link a video up there, the Veganuary Starter video, which will tell you about a company in Manchester called Ten Acre. But, Bacon Crispies, six packs, vegan. Onion rings. Six packs, vegan. P.S. de resistance. Prawn cocktail crisps, vegan. No prawns in them at all. Not Sainsbury's own brand, but did you know that McVitie's digestive biscuits are now vegan? Um, we've been waiting for Sainsbury's to come up with a chocolate biscuit that's vegan because Tesco's dark chocolate digestives are vegan, but we've started smashing these in us faces now and quite a lot of Sainsbury's own biscuits are vegan but you have to check however as Jason just pointed out these lighter ginger snaps for example they're only marked vegetarian but if you look at the uh, the ingredients there doesn't seem to be anything in there that's not vegan and it's a cross-contamination issue which happens a lot some things are marked vegetarian and then you look in the ingredients and if there's no dairy or egg bolded 
look for what says may contain and if it says may contain it only means it's made in a factory with other non-vegan products uh, and that there is a slight cross-contamination risk it's mainly there for allergy sufferers so although marked vegetarian vegan very good point mister very good point uh, as you will have seen in our what we eat in a day video we either have crumpets or bagels in the morning with watermelon and blueberries strawberries in summer um, and the entire new york bagel range the sweet ones and the savory ones these are our favorites red onion and chive because we have fruit and watermelon it's all very sweet having something savory like this with floral light on gorgeous clearly marked suitable for vegetarians and vegans but not the only thing you can have for breakfast so let's go and have a look all Sainsbury's own brand, all really good for you, all £1.80, all marked vegan. I'm still grinning. <laughs> it's so dark in the cereal. I know. <laughs> Scary. Of course, everyone's jumping in on the game now, aren't they? And Kellogg's have brought these out, which are marked vegan, and are £3 a box. But we can get a box of fruit wheats for one pound eight. So what you're going to spend this kind of money for? However, dark chocolate and coconut. They've got the marketing sorted, though, haven't they? They put the word protein on the front of the box. I'm really interested in the dark chocolate and coconut. I'm trying that. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I think we featured this in our uh, pre-Christmas Sainsbury's vlog, but Elm Lee are now doing plant cream. It's only £1.15. Uh, you can get Alpro soya cream, actually, in a, in a, in a box so from the free from aisle we're going to next. But this for £1.15 is a bargain. Not getting one, because I've still got one in my fridge from Christmas I haven't used yet. Luckily, the date on them is astronomical. May 2020. Yay. Plants don't go off, Karen. Secretions do. Susan, are you a gluten as well as a vegan? So you really struggle, don't you? Well, struggle no more, Susan. <laughs> gluten free and vegan cereal usually three pounds but they're only two pounds at the moment on offer so if you fancy a nice cereal start in the morning these both sound really really nice actually there you go in the free from aisle these are two pounds each rocky road and chocolate tiffin bites they're actually not bad they're very very sweet we occasionally have them but if you fancy something like that now a quick warning before we move on um, if you're in the free from aisle you've still got to check the ingredients on everything and make sure it's marked vegan if you go in the vegan route because a lot of stuff that's free from might only be free from gluten or egg yes. so you've got to read the ingredients but a lot of the stuff in here is vegan on word used to be Sainsbury's Love Your Veg. By the way, uh, look at these. Three, three pound fifty for ten frozen sausages with minted peas, avocado and spinach. Brilliant. Uh, but we think that all of this stuff will soon become plant pioneers. It looks like they're having a bit of a rebrand um, and changing everything to this now. Now, the, if these are the same meatballs that Sainsbury's have always done, 15 approximately, used to be 20, £1.75 makes an absolutely awesome spaghetti and meatballs. I'm gonna get some of them, yeah? Yeah. I'll put these back because a little more pomp right there. Can't be having shrimp dogs. 
the Mickey Mall will. My right. body can't handle it. I know. Just can't handle it. These are the kind of things you have to watch for as well. This company, Good Life, vegetable protein balls, says quite clearly on the front of the box, I'm vegan. So you would think the same company, Super Green Pesto Burgers, you would think they were too. But no, they've clearly got milk marked as one of the ingredients. Because I just checked that. Can you get that, Jason? Yeah, there we go. So not vegan. So the moral of the story is... Be careful and check everything. Really? I don't want any of that stuff. We've come to show you, we're not even doing a big shot. Two pounds Sainsbury's own, two um, cheddar style and spring onion crisp bakes. And if you can find them, they also do a cheddar style Kiev. So the label's there, but they're not here at the moment, but they're lovely and they're clearly marked vegan. They've got quite a few vegan ice creams here. The Ben and Jerry's uh, peanut, peanut butter cookies is five pound 50 though. And they've got this other one called Jude's, vegan salted caramel, vegan, vanilla bean £4.50 but Swedish glacé at £2.50 is a really good tasty vanilla ice cream and you get quite a big tub it's classic isn't it for £2.50 we have this one quite a lot had we been able to spot it today Mr Kipling's do a treacle tart also marked vegan warm treacle tart cold ice cream looking for a jam all of Sainsbury's taste the difference conserves at £1.60 we always have the black currant one because black currant is a real super fruit very very good for you so I know it's jam but if you fancy jam on toast or something at some point but they do all the basic flavors uh, but they do posh ones as well raspberry uh, strawberry uh, black cherry plum and hedgerow which is for fruits. Another tip as well, these jars, when you clean them out, make fabulous drinking tumblers. No, I'm not even joking. We've got four with this one now, once we've finished it. get the coconut collaborative little chock pots the 250 for four but when you fancy a really sweet treat of an evening however we've just spotted these ones salted caramel chock pots for 250 clearly marked vegan so we're having them and this is a really good bit to show you because all of these cheeses Greek style caramelized onion cheddar style £2.25, £2.50, they're all reasonably priced. The Greek style cheese is just like feta, it's beautiful crumbled over salads or even over a pizza. Uh, and of course, all these spreads on the bottom here are all vegan, along with all the cheese. vegan airs at Sainsbury's. So people often ask us which milk, what, what 
milk do we use? We're happy to have any plant milk that won't curdle in a hot drink because we're big coffee drinkers. This is the one we've stuck with for five, six years now. It's an absolutely brilliant milk, always available in Sainsbury's. It's here in the chilled section. Um, and they even do this one, enriched, which is fantastic for toddlers. So if you've got a baby moving up from baby milk, brilliant vegan milk to give them. I'm only showing Penny in this video, but both of these are Sainsbury's own brand pastas. They are 60p a pack and they're clearly marked vegan on the back. The trick is with pasta, dried pasta that's only made with durum wheat is always vegan. You have to watch for dried pastas that have been made with egg, but for the most part, all pastas fully vegan. Actually buying these today, the straight to wok noodles from Sainsbury's. They're a pound a pack, you get two little sachets in there, like one for a person, so all of that was in a stir fry for me and Jason. Clearly marked, vegan, one pound, really tasty, brilliant for if you're doing a Chinese. Now, while we're talking about Chinese, almost all of Sainsbury's own cooking sauces, sweet and sour, Chinese chips shop style, all the curry uh, ones as well which are somewhere else oh they're over there a lot of the curry ones are marked vegan and i've just spotted they've now got a chili con carne one as well they range from between 60p to 85p the jars are fantastic wash them out and reuse them for storage it's what we do Amazing. Hide your face, hide your labels, cause you can't see them. A few moments later. We know today's video is about Sainsbury's, but we've come up to uh, home bargains. If you've got a home bargains, a Poundland or a B&M bargains, keep your eye out for astonish cleaning products. These are 89p, as you can see they're clearly marked vegan, they're clearly marked cruelty free and they're actually really really good products. So look at all the range they've got just in this one store here. So Jason's going to give you a sweeping shot now of everything we bought for ourselves today. Of course everything we've shown you uh, is not what we've bought. We've bought the things we wanted to buy but we hope we've shown you a, a, a really good example of what you can get from Sainsbury's. And this little lot cost us £69.91. Jason. So we hope that video has been really, really helpful for you and as we've already stated, if you want to find vegan cruelty free cleaning products, Home Bargains, B&M Bargains and Poundland and watch out for those Astonish products and for per personal care, moisturiser, makeup, shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, all of that kind of stuff, Superdrug is brilliant. Uh, but we showed you that we get the original source because it's only a pound. 
Uh, I think we've pretty much done a good job there. Yeah, I hope so. I hope it's kind of like what we wanted it to be was like the ultimate guide to vegan shopping at Sainsbury's. Mm -hmm. So it might be a slightly longer vlog, but we really hope it helps you. Yeah. So thank you very, very much for watching. Love you, mister. Love you. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Uh, we'll see you again very, very soon. Be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bacon butter. Yeah. Right. Bacon. Bacon. Really hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do like and subscribe. It helps us out loads. It really does. And check down there in the description because you'll find loads of links to the two ways that you can best support us to keep the channel going are through becoming a patron on our Patreon down there in the description or buying our merch, darling. Fabulous link down there. We deal with a fabulous vegan company called Vegan Original. Check it out, guys.